Solar panel kits are everywhere these days, and the best part is that installing them yourself has never been easier. Just like plug-and-play computer gear, these kits come ready to go. With energy bills skyrocketing, a lot of people are purchasing them. Not only do you save money, but you also skip the weight and cost of hiring a professional installer. But before you grab your drill and climb up the ladder, there are a few things you need to understand. Solar panels, when not installed properly, can be an electrical, fire, and even a physical hazard, especially when mounted on rooftops. That's why it's critical to be confident with electrical systems and safe working at heights. To make things easier, let's break this down into three simple checklists. First is the solar suitability, second is PV kit appropriateness, and third is installation correctness. Let's dive into the solar suitability checklist. One of the first things to check is shadows. Your panels need full sun between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. No trees, chimneys, or nearby buildings blocking light. Next, panel orientation. This is also called azimuth in solar technical terms. If you are north of the equator, panels should face south. If you are south of the equator, then they should face north. When ideal orientation isn't possible, then slightly eastward or westward orientation is also acceptable. There's a great tool developed by the EU. You can use this tool and it will give you the expected output of your kit for your location. Maintenance is important too. Make sure your panels are accessible for regular cleaning. Dust, bird droppings or grime can lower performance. You need to check if planning permission or local permits are needed. This depends upon where you are installing. A shed might not need approval, but a balcony or roof might. And finally, space. Every 200 watts of panel power needs about 1 square meter. So for 1 kilowatt system, you will need around 4 to 5 square meters of space. Here is the PV kit checklist. Now, let's talk about the kit itself. Is it safe, complete, certified and ready to install? Look for good quality wiring, reliable connectors like MC4 and documentation that clearly explains setup. If micro inverters are included, make sure they are compatible with your system. If a battery is included, a charge controller must be part of the kit. If you're planning to expand later, micro inverter systems make that much easier. If your system connects to the grid, make sure it includes isolator switches, one on the DC side between the panels and the inverter, and another on the AC side before grid connection. This is required in most regulatory codes. Also check if grounding or earthing is legally required in your region. For example, in the UK, earthing is mandatory under the IET code of practice for grid connected systems. The kit should also include appropriate mounting brackets that match your installation site and allow the right tilt angle. And don't forget the warranty. Many panels come with warranties of over 10 years. However, inverters and microinverters might have shorter coverage. Always check the terms from your kit supplier. And finally, installation correctness. Let's finish with some installation basics. Install panels at the correct angle for your location to maximize sunlight capture. Use the right brackets to make adjustments. Avoid mounting panels completely flush against the surface. They need space underneath for airflow to stay cool and operate efficiently. And finally, ensure that your inverter has proper ventilation. Air must pass freely around it to avoid overheating. Final thoughts? With the right knowledge and solid plan, a DIY solar installation can absolutely be worth it. You'll save money, reduce your carbon footprint, and gain some energy independence, all while learning a valuable skill. Do your homework, follow the safety protocols, and you'll be well on your way to harnessing the power of the sun. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. There's a downloadable infographic checklist for your installation, on the link in the description. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing for more energy tips. Thank you for your attention.